All right, guys, memorizing pi is one of the really cool things that you can do with your memory. I want to give you a quick memory test, though, and if you can pass this memory test, you can memorize pi. So I want you to relax, don't stress, be calm. I'm going to give you a list of 10 words here. If you can memorize these 10 words, you can memorize pi. Okay guys, the first word that I want you to memorize is a balloon. Imagine helium balloons on your head and they're lifting up your head. Helium balloons on your head. On your nose, I want you to imagine a duck. Quack, 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 quack. A duck walking across your nose. On your mouth, I want you to imagine a gun. A gun going through your mouth. Review, balloons, duck, gun. On your ribs, I want you to imagine stars, like stars in the sky or stars on a flag. Stars are flying out of your ribs. On your liver, I want you to imagine a pyramid, like a pyramid in Egypt. Look down there and see a pyramid on your liver. On your hip joint, I want you to imagine more stars. Stars are shooting out of your hip joint. Stars on your hip joint. On right here, your kneecap, I want you to imagine a snowman. Imagine a snowman and the snow is melting and that snowman is right here on your kneecap. See a snowman right here. Next, on your shin right here, I want you to imagine balloons. Balloons are tied to your shin and they're lifting your shin up. Balloons on your shin. On the bottom of your feet, I want you to imagine Dice! Dice are on the bottom of your feet. Imagine dice like at a casino on the bottom of your feet. You're walking on dice. And the last one is I want you to imagine this entire room is filled with balloons. Balloons everywhere. We started with balloons and we ended with balloons. All right, let's review. What are the 10 words I just gave you? I gave you balloons, duck, gun, stars, pyramid, stars, snowman, balloons, dice, and balloons. Okay, so if you can memorize those 10 words, and I think you probably can, you can memorize pi. Why? To memorize pi, or a number, or anything at all, you need two main ingredients. Those two main ingredients are, number one, a place to store the information. Number two, the information turned into a picture. So, we used our body to store the information. We used our body to store the data. And then number two, we took the data, which was the digits of pi, and we turned them into a picture. Pi starts off this way, 3.1415, and I just memorized that because I think everybody knows 3.14, and if you know 3.14, the 1, 5 is easy. Why? Because 15 comes after 14. So 3.1415, you already know that, that's easy. The rest of the digits we put on our body. We took the digit 9 and we turned it into a picture. What does a balloon look like? A balloon looks like a number nine. You have the balloon and then the string hanging down. Kind of looks like a nine. Balloons for the number nine. The next digit is two. Well, what does a duck's neck look like? A duck's neck is kind of curved like a number two. A duck is kind of shaped like the letter two. 3.141592. If you see a number six that's tilted on its side, it kind of looks like a gun. So we use a gun for the number six. Six. 3.1415926. So what was next? How many points are on a star? Five. Five star hotel, five star restaurant, five is a star. 3.1415926.5. What was the next picture? Pyramid. How many sides on a pyramid? Three. What's next? Stars. What did we already say stars represent? 
the number five. So we have 3.141592653535. Next one, snowman. A snowman, the shape is like a number eight. So I use snowman for number eight. That's the next digit of pi. What was on our shin? We had balloons. What number did we say balloons represent? The number nine. Nine is right here. The next one, what is on our feet? Dice. What are we walking on? Dice. Why? That represents the number seven. Opposite sides of dice always equal seven. If there's a one on top, there's a six on bottom. If there's a two on top, there's a five on bottom. Opposite sides of dice always equal the number seven. And then finally, what did we say was all in this room? Balloons. And you know what balloons represent, the number nine. So you just memorize the first 14 digits of pi, 3.1415, right? And then we pick it up from there. Balloons for nine, ducks for two, a gun for six, stars for five, a pyramid for three, stars for five, a snowman for eight, balloons for nine, dice for seven, and balloons for nine. 3.1415, two, six, five, three, five, eight, nine, seven, nine. Boom, it's that easy. Now, the next question is, is okay, Ron, what do I do? I've run out of body parts. The next thing that you do is you have to create pictures for every digit, at least zero to nine. My picture for zero is a donut because of the shape. My picture for the number one is a pencil because it looks like a pencil. We already have pictures for two and three. My picture for number four is a box because it has four sides on a box. We already have pictures for five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So now you have pictures for every digit, zero to nine. All you need to do now is store those pieces of information on locations like our body. I use my house. I use rooms in my house to store data because you only have 10 that you could probably put on your body. You're going to need more locations and for that you're going to need the mind palace technique. To get information on how to build your own mind palace and how to memorize pi to maybe 10,000 digits or 20,000 digits or 100 digits or 200 digits, you're going to need the Mind Palace method because you're going to need more locations. So click the link below and I have a training. It's the next step that you need on how to build your very own Mind Palace and memorize hundreds, if not thousands of digits of pi. Go ahead, click the link below. All right, guys, memorizing pi is kind of a cool... All right, guys, memorizing. All right, guys, memorizing pi is one of the. Sorry, the airplane, we hear the airplane in the background. Let's wait for that airplane to leave. A snowman. Imagine a snowman on your kneecap and the. <laughs> Let me try to stay held here for a little longer. Okay. Is this right? 3.141592. Six, five, three, five.